Hey everyone, I'm Aria of Area Games, and what we have here is the Starlight City Drive-In Apartments. Now, you might not notice anything up here because, uh, this isn't normally what the Starlight City Drive-In looks like, mostly because I'm up high. Now, I did an earlier one where we talked about the drive-in, walked around what I had, and I've built on quite a bit since then. For one, I have a tower, but not just any tower, a tower that is big, and I finally finished the first level of the apartments sections, so let's check it out. By jumping. I am so glad that didn't kill me. As you can see, I finished up the apartments. They're each individual sections with fixed lights and even art because apparently I had that. I, I don't know when I got those. Or why this guy knows how to paint art. That, that actually kind of freaks me out when I think about it. But I finally started finishing up the apartments and this is how it looks mostly. And I was actually running into a little trouble with the wiring and some of the defensive platforms. So I went down here and I added little lower stations to walk through. These are not connected to the ground. They're only accessible through the maiden catch. Now, the one advantage is all the wiring underneath the building, as you can see right here where the little uh, cursor is, each one of these runs to underneath one of the apartments. So I can then light up the entire building and more or less place fixtures where I want with impunity. That, and what's that sound? Oh, it's him walking through the water. Dear God, Preston, you gave me a little heart attack there. I was about to do a raider fight or something. As you can see, I don't have much built up on the ground. That's because... God, this place is in terrible, terrible place to defend. There's so much I would have to build on walls. It just wouldn't be worth it. That, and I'm deciding to screw around with gravity. And, re really, really, Preston, you're, you're going to get in the way? The one advantage to this is that I can now more or less move anywhere down here with impunity and take out anyone. Uh, the, the problem is, of course, they can shoot me easily. But, you know, they can't get here and I can get to them. And if I then add little walls for cover, I can have blind spots so that I can get to them and defend any location I need. And realistically, I'm just going to place turrets down here so that I can defend the lower levels. And since they cannot be reached, well, there's cutoff points. The only way to get in here is still about the railroad. is still over the here, yeah. And, all that. and the one door is guarded by these two heavy turrets. I'm going to upgrade them when I get the materials, and when I think of it. You have to come through this one little doorway, and because it's an actual doorway, it's sing you have to go single file. And super mutants, if they can destroy sections, well, they'll destroy the doorway, and there won't be a section anymore, so I'm set there. You have to go in through here, and... Let's be honest, the AI kind of sucks. So I'm not worried about them really ever having trouble getting invaded. Because once you're in here, you're more or less safe. But let's get back to the fun stuff. Now this part isn't new. What is new though is I finished up the other ends. And I started to embrace different little concepts like the trade. I have one booth over here that is armor. I don't know where the guy doing that is. It's night, so I'm not surprised they're not there. And I got the general store. Little lights all over the place to keep it always brightly lit. And one little bell in the center because, well, let's see how that looks. They're, uh, really running to it. The bell is supposed to draw everyone in the settlement to one general location. And honestly, it's just easier to get them all together. As you can see, though, um... Yeah... That's uh, not really helping because they can't get in. <sighs> that that actually is an issue. Oh, uh, fun little fact. You can walk on the roofs. So you can see from up here what they look like. The sheet metal roofing from the individual units. It also makes a really good vantage point if you want to attack. Now, it's unintentional and it won't really help in the long run because this kind of distance on guns is less than optimal. But it gives you a nice view of the surrounding area. And it creates a high point that's really interesting to use. And how did he get up there? Seriously, I used the bell. What what, what the hell? But yeah, this is only the second stage. Now that the first level's done, I intend to build a little tower-like platform right here. Maybe different tiered levels of shops. And see what happens. But for the most part, I have the first level down. And, well, that's weird. I missed the stairs. I'm going to then start building up this one. Maybe make it a private armory. I'm not really sure what will happen. I'm also, this is one thing I'm debating still, 
do I close the center up? Because, on the one hand, I kind of like the open look to it. On the other hand, I don't know what kind of enemies I'll have to deal with later on. And bloat flies can just come right in. Which would pretty much make that little really heavily fortified entryway absolutely useless. But yeah, that's the Starlight Drive-In as it is now. I'm going to continue working on this thing because honestly, I think this is my pet project in the game. Just building the most incredible little base I can build up. See how far it goes. I'm definitely going to follow it all the way through. I already have the lower levels, the little lower level catwalk. I got the mid level for shops and residencies. And now I can do the overseer pitch, which will probably be my main base when I get done. And it will be glorious. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm definitely getting such a kick out of this. I think building is my favorite part of this game. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it way too much. I should start doing the missions, but it's just so fun to build. Uh, as you can tell, I love Legos as a kid. I just, I was Lego everything. Gotta get Legos. And it probably shows. So yeah, I'm Mary Very Games. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you haven't seen me a lot on YouTube recently, that's because I just recently got a new full-time job, and oh yeah, it's a full-time job. On the one hand, yay, money! On the downside, Oh, my feet, my legs, my skin, oh, my spleen. And if anyone gets that reference, kudos. I like that show, too. <laughs> oh, I am such a dork. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.